My name is Bernie Kekane. I'm an aquatic ecologist. I work in Central Region in Water Services and I work on the Lake Air Basin Rivers Assessment. Uh, today we're sitting on Virgimont Creek, which is a part of the, the Cooper catchment. And uh, so over the last week and a half, we've been out here sampling fish communities, uh, doing water quality sampling, and also uh, collecting hydrology data uh, for a lot of the water holes uh, in this basin. Yeah, so the project started back in 2011, so we're, we're nearing almost 10 years now uh, of this, this information. Uh, and it has been a collaborative effort with the jurisdiction, so the, the methods we use here are the same methods that are used elsewhere uh, in the basin as well. So what that allows us to do is, is do a good comparison uh, across the basin at the same time um, to ensure that we, we get a good understanding what the health of the basin is. So the water, water holes are, are an extremely important component uh, to the aquatic ecosystems and, and the ecosystems in general. Um, the reason being is that, is that they're, they're pretty much the only source of water um, during a particularly long period of time. One, it'd be water is a precious resource in this yeah. country. Mm. Secondly, it doesn't take much to devote it and you've just changed it. Yeah look after the country and you look after your water, the country thrives. Don't look after either, mm. country dies pretty quick. One of the, the, the best things about the agreement and the Lake Air Basin Rivers Assessment is that collaboration. That collaboration with the, the Indigenous people, uh, with, with the, the pastoralists and, and, and other people who have an interest in this area. To me, that, that, is, a, that is, I value that. Well, the best outcome is to work with locals to use best science and best understanding we have of our ecological processes to make decisions that aren't going to harm the system. Because we know that some of the decisions being made do have the potential to cause great harm. Yeah, I think it's important that we continue the Lake Air Basin Rivers Assessment and, and the agreement as a whole. There is a strong connection with the community and the community really to appreciate this sort of uh, government involvement in an area which, you know, is quite honestly is, is, um, is, is such a pristine area that we really need to maintain it. So I think the community and the scientists uh, who are involved in this program really understand and appreciate the level of effort we've, we've put in. The more and more people we can influence to think about sustainability and what the future really means and making strategic planning decisions based on long term good outcomes, the more we can do, just adds to the whole knowledge base.